Hello, my name is Tony Cole and I just want to say a few words about something that gets a bit confusing nowadays, which is when you make a video, when do you look at the camera and when do you look slightly off the camera to an interviewer who is not seen but is actually prompting you with questions? Well, this is something that is getting eroded because you often see both in the same video quite inconsistently. But the original idea was that if you were a TV reporter, you would be the host of your little segment. So you would come on, you say, hello, I'm Tony Cole or whatever, and you would introduce the subject matter and you would then cut to one or more interviews. Now during the interviews, the interviewer and the interviewee look at each other and they don't look at the camera because the convention is that you, the viewer, are actually eavesdropping on their private conversation. So that's the, that's the convention. And the thing is, when you, when you cut away from that, you know, you're looking at the interviewee, interviewer and then suddenly you look at the camera. It's as if you're um, listening to somebody's conversation on a park bench and suddenly they go, what do you think you're looking at? It's a bit disconcerting, frightens the horses. So that's the, that's the idea. Now, why do you, in this day and age, need an interviewer in the first place? A lot of people do without it nowadays. An awful lot of people are making their own videos, looking to the camera and uh, writing their own content and so forth. If you can do that, if you know that you're good at it, if you know that you can communicate effectively through this dead black eye that is the camera lens, then go for it. But I think there is still a lot to be said for having somebody in the role of inquisitor. It's a journalistic role. It's asking the relevant questions and getting you to give good answers. Now, you can do this in a truly journalistic sense, or you can do it on behalf of the client, who is probably the person talking. It's, it's, not, um, it's not any kind of compromise, because in both cases, you are getting for the, the best performance for, from the client. You're going for the best performance. So I would say, if you want to make an effective video, think about using somebody in the traditional role of the TV interviewer. Thanks very much.